Hi, my name is Sean Beasley and I'd like to show you a little tool that OTRS has in order to help you um, get some test data and um, yeah so that you can kind of see how the system works when you first install OTRS out of the box it's it's very empty there's just one ticket four queues one user here I've added the super admin user so that the error message about not working with uh, the root user would disappear that's the first thing you should do when you install your system is to add a new user and then the best thing you can do after that is to uh, deactivate the root at local host or uh, and or change the um, username as well as set a new password because the Windows installer if you don't pay attention will set a very generic password which is uh, ge so generic that people can hack your system if it's available from the internet so in order to get some test data going in our system we have to open up the start window or the start button the command prompt then we'll go to the install directory of OTRS here. I've installed it directly to OTRS. I would recommend doing that by when installing OTRS on Windows uh, so that you can avoid the problems of uh, space, spaces in the file names and generally you know, things that tend to happen uh, and or errors that tend to occur when you work with an OTRS system that's installed in program files x86. So here we're going to go to OTRS, OTRS and then go into the bin directory and there's a if you've used the windows installer the Perl binary is in your path the mysql binary is not in your path you can go ahead and set that uh, if you wanted to but here we're just concerning ourselves with this uh, so-called fill up script so we'll uh, call the Perl binary and the script's name is otrs and we're just going to use autocomplete here by pressing tab fillDB.pl. If I want to know how to use it, I can use the minus H for help, and it will give me a list of options that I can set, count of groups, count of users, count of queues, and count of tickets. I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up, you know, just a, a couple of hundred tickets here. Now, one thing you might want to consider is when you're using these uh, this script, it's not only uh, the the duration of the run is not only based upon how many groups users queues and tickets but more uh, explicitly about the articles because there'll be a random number of articles generated for each of these tickets additionally free text fields might be filled or um, owner assignments they're going to be closed or open so they'll have a couple of different statuses so let's go ahead and set this up I want to have 10 groups I want to have uh, 30 users. I want to have 45 queues and I want to have, let's go with a thousand tickets and then let this puppy run. If you have created any test tickets and you want to go ahead and use this script that's fine as well. You will get a warning message that your system seems to be productive and you'll have to force this uh, script to run and then it'll run so basically it'll uh, destroy your system anything that you might have tested up until that point so please be very careful when considering using this script <clears throat> so as we can see he's finished and if I go to the admin box and run select from ticket See that there are actually tickets in the system. Let's see if our queues and everything have been created. Go back to our queue view. Apparently this script has had a problem. There are queues and they are set to valid. Then what's the problem? The problem is then we don't have our group assignment for our admin user. So we go back to admin and go back to agent and groups. We'll take our admin super user, give him read write permissions on our queues, our groups that we've set up. We'll log out. And now we've see we've got a thousand and one tickets. Look at status view. 
and now we've got a lot of wonderful example tickets that we can use. There are no email articles um, that are included. These are all web articles, so you won't be able to use these to test the email function. But what you can do is you can, for example, test the owner function. You can choose a new owner. For the ticket, for example, um, you can test responsible features, you can test ACLs uh, because you've got enough users and groups and queues uh, to test that. You can create roles, for example, if you wanted to create a role, then it makes it a lot easier to test the roles because you already have the groups. So it's just a, a little bit of an aid in getting a um, viable test system up and running. So here I can add my agents to a role, for example. Then I can go back, add my... Well, I'm just moving a little bit too fast today. Add my roles to groups, because I've already got my groups set up. Yeah, that's just about it for this script. It's a nice little tool and I wanted to demonstrate it to you guys because uh, I'm going to be also doing a migration video from OTRS 3.0 to 3.1 on Windows and that's why I wanted to have a little bit of data um, so that when we do the um, upgrade script for the 3.1 that you guys get kind of an idea, a small feel of uh, how long the script would run for a thousand tickets for example. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, keep tuning in. Thank you.